should be visiting the globe's top tourist destinations, but the world's cruise ships are at anchor, waiting for the next voyage. No one in Weymouth has seen so many of these superstructures here before. A spectacle for those on land, but with no end in sight for crews still on board, many are facing a seemingly endless life at sea. Cassandra Snowden has just got back from the other side of the world. The passengers had long since left her ship, but she was left on board for weeks. She worries about the mental health and stress for British crew still stranded. As time went on, um, my mental health deteriorated and you can't help but think irrationally and you're worrying about your family, you're worrying about money and, and everything going on at home and you feel like you're in this bubble and you're not in the real world. In the Philippines, dozens of cruise ships fill the bay. Surrounded by luxury but in lockdown, some crews are protesting. Those representing many of them say thousands feel trapped. There are so many bottlenecks put in place by different governments around the world that is really holding the situation right up right now. Um, it is making it, in some instances, almost impossible to get people home. Stranded crew issues aren't apparent here in Dorset, where the main problem is weathering the financial storm. With no business, they have nowhere to go. These giants of the sea are effectively mothballed temporarily. They're sheltering here in Weymouth, not just from the wind, but from an economic crisis. What will the pandemic leave in its wake? Well, for this industry right now, it's about staying above water. Rupert Elin, ITV News, Weymouth.